everybody, my name is the IT guy and welcome to another video of mine. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can share a common folder between the Windows operating system and the Linux operating system when it comes to Linux gaming, more specifically when it comes to Steam Play. So right now you can play Windows games on Steam using the Steam Play option, which uses uh, Proton to uh, you know, translate uh, DirectX calls to Vulkan calls and uh, stuff like that and what we're going to do is we're going to mount the folder of Windows in Linux so I'm going to, I'm going to be doing it in pop OS so you're gonna have to mount your uh, steam steam drive in uh, Linux but we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaks here and there to make it work in Steam because there might be some issues when you first try to uh, mount the drive in uh, Linux itself. Uh, so the reason why this is handy is actually because you don't want to go ahead and spend all that uh, hard drive space on Linux and you know, install the same games over and over again. You know, you already installed the games on Windows and those games already took up so much drive space. You want to be sure that this, the games you are playing on Windows can also be played on Linux without having to reinstall every single game uh, you want to try on Linux. So actually, you're, you're going to be able to use the Steam folder you created on Windows and uh, mount that into Linux and use that folder to play all your Windows games on Linux using Steam Play. So first of all we need to open up Steam of course so we need to open up Steam just go ahead and open up your Steam uh, application over here and let's go over to Steam settings and go into downloads uh, so right now we're working in the Windows environment of course so we're gonna go into Steam library folder and then you are going to uh, determine where your Steam folder is located. So most likely it will be located in the C slash program files and then Steam. But in my, uh, in my case, I also have a separate Steam folder on a different drive that is located on the D drive and also in a subfolder called Steam. So I don't really have a lot of games installed on the, C, on the C drive. Most of my games are installed on a separate drive. So I'm going to mount this drive in my Linux distribution. Uh, but if you have, if you have uh, the C drive, if, you, if your uh, Steam folder is by default in the C drive and all your games are installed over here, you will of course be mounting the C drive. And uh, we'll be having a look into how to do that uh, uh, shortly. Uh, but, you know, first of all, take notice where the games are installed. So maybe yours are installed on the D drive, maybe yours are installed on the C drive. Take note of that because we'll be needing that partition, we'll be needing to access that drive from within Linux using um, the the mount option uh, using FS tab. But we'll get into that just in, a, in just a minute. Right now, uh, take note of the drive and close up Windows and go ahead and boot into your Linux installation and from there on I will be showing you how to uh, proceed from there of from from there on for forward okay so the first thing you'll need to do when you're in Linux is you'll need to make sure that your the drive you want to use is mounted and uh, mounting drives in Ubuntu or pop OS is actually pretty easy you just uh, access them through um, the files and then go to other location and then you click the drive you want to access but in many cases uh, for for example in uh, pop os drives are not mounted on startup so the drives that are mounted on startup are most likely your root drive and then any other drives that you uh, that you use so like the swap drive and the EFI partition those are also mounted on startup but any other drives that are not that don't have really anything to do with Linux uh, they are not mounted by default so you're gonna have to mount them yourself um, so the thing you have to do to mount these drives is you're gonna have to edit something called the FS tab file and the FS tab file is actually a file system table and over there you can define which uh, file systems have to be mounted by, uh, uh, at startup so if you look at this over here so other locations so I already mounted the data drive because I need to mount the data drive 
to record this video because all my video files are stored on the data drive. Um, so this one is already mounted, but I mounted it myself. So uh, this is not done by default. I mounted this drive uh, myself by clicking on it. And what you want to do right now is uh, the easiest way to check which disk is your Steam disk is you open up the disks uh, tool like I just did and right over here you can find all these drives and you can see like this one has the label games dash D and I know for a fact that the games dash D uh, disk is the disk where my Steam folders uh, where my Steam files are located but if you run something like a dual boot then you just want to click this disk over here and most likely it will be the NTFS partition you want to mount and what you want to take note of is the device so you want to you want to take note of the device um, and that's basically all you need to do over here just take note of the device and then we're gonna have to go into our terminal to mount the drives themselves so let's go ahead and open up our terminal over here and let's go over into cd slash etsy and then sudo nano uh, fs tab enter your password and right over here you can see that there are a bunch of file systems already so this is the seed so you can see over here this is the efi partition you can see that over here because it has slash boot slash efi here this is the root and this is the swap partition that's being mounted automatically um, so over here, I already entered mine over here. Uh, the reason is because you know uh, the, uh, I already mounted mine over here, but I just um, I just uncommented it, so uh, I can easily show it to you. I don't have to type it all over again. So what you want to do is the partition you took note of over here. So you uh, you see like this is the partition where your Steam files are installed on. So you want to um, enter that folder over here and you want to double space and then you want, want, want to enter a mount point and a mount point in most cases um, especially with Ubuntu and stuff like that if you go into the computer over here and you go into media then your username uh, for example if I would mount um, so this is my USB drive, and this is the data drive. So the 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 disks are automatically mounted over here. So I will do the same. So I'm going to mount my disk in this folder, and what that basically means is that you create a drive on your root drive, so on your Linux drive, and that is the place where the drive will be mounted and a mount point is nothing more than just a folder that redirects you to the contents of another drive so it's maybe maybe i just explained a little bit too simple but basically that's what it boils down to you just create a folder the folder is empty then you mount the disk to that empty folder and the disk uh, the empty folder becomes populated with the contents of that specific uh, partition or drive so that's what mounting actually means so that's something you'll need to do first uh, so, it, you know, in my case, I just took media slash IT guy. You just need to make sure that you have read and write access to the specific uh, folder itself. And uh, I created the games dash D folder over here already. So we can go ahead and mount it over there. You don't have to create the folder itself. If you enter the folder you want to create over here, the kernel will automatically create the folder for you. Okay, so then we need to specify a um, an, a partition type and we are specifying ntfs dash uh, 3g you need to have ntfs dash 3g installed if you do not have it installed you just do uh, sudo apt install uh, ntfs fs dash 3 3g enter the password i think i mistyped myself here just enter the password Wrong again. There we go. So you see already that it's installed. So in my case, I don't have to install it uh, because I already have the latest version. But if you do not have it installed, you can uh, install it using this command over here. So close that up. Okay, so we have NTFS, NTFS uh, 3G. But then 
this is where it's actually this is the tricky part because if you do not change these if you do not enter these settings over here then chances are that steam will not be able to read from the folder because you are not the owner of the mount point so you need to specify that you are actually the user mounting that point by specifying your user ID and you can find out your user ID by typing in ID dash you and then typing in your um, username and it will show you your user ID so this is a user ID and you want to uh, specify the user ID with the command with the um, with the variable UID dash uh, equals thousand so this is my user ID it will probably be different than your case or it might not be and then you want to specify the group ID which you can find out by doing ID minus G your username which is also a thousand then space defaults space zero zero and then you want to do control O save that file and this is the string you want to uh, you want to create in the FS tab file and then you can close that up uh, close everything up over here close that up close that up and then we're gonna reboot the computer and you're gonna see that the drive I just specified is mounted at startup. So let's go ahead and restart Pop OS and see if everything works fine. Okay, perfect. So now we have rebooted the computer. Let's go into our files, go to other locations. And as you can see, the fact that it shows the drive uh, size means it's mounted. So go ahead and close that. And right now you can go into your Steam uh, folder over here. Actually, let's first. Uh, go into the files and then see if actually the mount point is actually see if the drive is mounted go into computer go into media IT guy then go into the games dash D and let's see over here yes our steam folder is mounted these are our steam apps and this is the common folder and here we have all of our games perfect so let's close that up Let's go back into Steam, and right now we have to go into Steam, Settings, then go into uh, Downloads, and go into Steam Library Folders. And right over here you can go ahead and add your library folder. As you can see, I already did it over here. So, close. so let's go into the Media Folder, IT Guy, and then go into the Games-D. And click Steam and then select that and then it will be added to your uh, library over here and let me set this to default by the way and this way you'll have all the Windows games you installed on Windows also on your uh, on your uh, Linux installation close everything up and let's see if this actually works uh, let's try here let's try oblivion so this is a game that clearly only works on windows and i also if you go into the properties and local files browse local files you'll see that it's installed on the games dash d so this is actually the folder that um this is actually the folder where my um windows installation where my windows steam folder is located so setting up so it's the first time I'm running this game so give it a few minutes okay. so there are some things that sometimes don't really work um, and there so there are some uh, tricky parts also and the trickiest part is actually to really use the NTFS 3G uh, option so specify it not using NTFS or auto and specify the partition type by using NTFS dash 3G and also be sure to specify your um, user ID otherwise Steam is going to run into this problem where it says that you are not the owner of the uh, mount point because by default, root takes ownership of the mount point. Users can use it, um, but by default, the uh, mount point is, you know, is uh, owned by root by the uh, root user, 
and uh, this is something that apparently Steam Play does not really uh, go along well with. So you need to make sh be sure that uh, you specify the user ID and the group ID. So you actually, if you go into the bound point over here and you go over to the properties, the permissions is that you are the owner and uh, it's owned by your group. So this is actually uh, something you'll need to be sure that uh, this is all in order before you start messing around with uh, adding the game into your Steam libraries. So yeah, this was just basically me showing you how you can uh, add the Steam library from your Windows installation into your Linux installation and yeah, that's basically that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. I can really use that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.